Hello, and welcome to Content Cathedral. I'm Sherry Smith, which is a pretty common name. So on the internet, I'm known as C. Alex Smith. You can find me under that name in Pinterest, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, but you all can call me Sherry. I also run a podcast for those of you who are interested in science fiction, fantasy, or horror. The name of the podcast is Speculum Fiction Picks, or you can find it under Spec Fix Picks. In 2002, I took a job in Southern Oregon and discovered this wonderful writing group, Willamette Writers. If you're anywhere near Oregon, you should join this group. They are incredible. The Southern Oregon branch of Willamette Writers meets once a month for a five-hour session on the first Saturday of the month. They always invite local talent from the literary industry. I've seen book coaches, publishers, agents, screenplay writers, and famous writers at those meetings. The first two hours of those meetings is a didactic lecture. This is followed by going to lunch with these people and getting to know them up close and personal. It's followed by a two and a half to three hour workshop with hands-on activities. I didn't realize how special that was until I moved four hours away. When I couldn't find anything even close to that, I decided to take time off on the first weekend of every month and travel the four hours back to Willamette Writers just so I could get my fix. But then I took a dream job 12 hours away and that was just too far. The isolation from other writers that I experienced after I took the second job was deadly for my writing. I had the worst writer's block I had ever experienced and I knew I had to do something. During the last meeting that I attended at Southern Oregon Willamette Writers, a writing coach began to ask the class questions. And I realized that many of my friends were also very isolated in their writing and had difficulty making connections. I realized I wasn't alone. And there were others who might have the same issues and might benefit from a program to reduce their writing isolation. People who live in rural areas or who work unusual hours, people who do a lot of traveling, or people who live in areas where there is no local writers group. All of them are welcome at Content Cathedral, and I hope that you find your connections here. When I failed to find a local writing group at my new job, I realized I was going to have to do some problem solving, and I rapidly came to terms with the fact that I would have to use the power of the internet to make the writing connections I was missing so desperately. So I wanted to develop a place where writers could meet in real time, like a room in a cafe that they could rent from time to time. I needed the place that would accommodate large groups for webinars, but also be intimate for small groups to come together. I also knew I wanted a certain degree of anarchy. Even though I started the site, I wanted people to feel that, that this site belonged to everybody. I wanted everybody to have the same control that I had at the site, so that anyone could call a meeting of any size at any time for any purpose. I wanted you to be able to invite everyone or just certain people. And I certainly hope that you use the site to be creative and try new things that I haven't even thought of. So now let me take a moment and show you a little tour of Content Cathedral. I am trying with some success to connect everything through the main blog site. This is a private site, so I will need an email address to invite you to it. It also helps if you have a Gmail account. Once you're on the site, remember to sign in at the upper right-hand corner. The home page functions like most other blogs. There are articles, and you can comment on the articles. 
because this blog also belongs to you and you'll be signed up for everything once I get your email address, you can also create a blog. You can do that by going to the main blogger dashboard, which is up here at this B in the left hand corner. That takes you to your main blogger dashboard. You might have more than one blog, so you might see more than one uh, line here. What you want is Content Cathedral. Push on the little pen to write a new post. This is the post page. Remember to create a title for your post. You can put any kind of text in this box here. You can alter the text, uh, make it different colors, different different fonts, different size, different colors. You can link to various sites on the internet, put in images, put in movies. I would ask that you also, if you're quoting someone else, use the quote box. At the end, you want to make sure that you put some labels on, telling people more or less what your blog is about what your post, excuse me, more or less what your post is about. And then you can save it to draft. You can preview it or you can publish it so that we can all see it to the blog site. You can also edit the HTM here if you're inclined to do so. Once you're done, make sure you either save or publish and then you can close. That'll get you to the main dashboard just for content, content cathedral and you'll see everybody else's posts as well there. Please do not alter other people's posts. You can use this page however to edit your posts or in this case just get rid of it. Back on the regular blog site One of the features I've added is this Google Calendar so that you can see upcoming webcasts or social hours that people have scheduled. You can alter how you see this by pushing here if you want to see a week's worth or what's happening in the next month or go back to just a list. You can also get to the calendar by pushing on Google Calendar. which will show you this view and you can actually schedule an event right here and invite people to come to your event. Under the calendar is the YouTube page for this site. This is where all the webcasts can be found in order. So currently we don't have any but we will after this. And then there's the community page. It's Google's answer to Facebook. I'm not sure if this is going to be very, uh, if we're going to do much with this, but it's here in case you need it. And finally, the community message board, which is actually a Google group. You can get to that by first, I, I, if you've given me your email, I've subscribed to you already. You can get to that by just saying sign in to view this group and where it takes you is here. Anything you put on this message board will go to all of the members. So you want to be a little careful about what you write in here. Once you come to this uh, page, please take a moment and go down to introductions and just introduce yourself. Open this up. And I've put at the top here a list of uh, potential things you should probably tell us. Oops. And then if you'd just uh, share with us a little bit about yourself. And back to the blog site. On the blog, I have some tabs. I'll probably have some more by the time uh, you get to see this. Home is the blog posts and the, and the site that I've been showing you. How do I is going to be a list of uh, links to pages that explain 
how you do various things on the site, like do a hangout, email everyone at once, that sort of thing. Back home, okay. at the bottom of this board, you'll see a list of contributors. This is all of us that uh, are talking on the site. You'll also see the blog archives. And back to the presentation. In critique groups, we are very used to teaching each other the craft and pointing out things that we could do. All of us have knowledge. All of us can teach. At the current time, I'm doing a little research about Cain and Abel, and so I'm reading a lot from famous rabbis from eons ago. It is clear that they respected people who had a passion to learn and who studied a subject very intensely, but they did not respect people who studied a craft but then did not share what they had learned with others. One step in the learning process is teaching. So I hope that people will join me in making webcasts to teach people what they've learned. Other things we might try with the site are write-ins. These are popular during NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo is largely a social endeavor that writers try. For the month of November, writers get together and try to write a 50,000 word novel in the 30 days of November. During that time, they do several social activities, including write-ins where they come together at, say, some coffee shop somewhere and write together. When you pause from your writing and look up and everybody else is working diligently, it encourages you to keep going. We could do a similar thing on the internet at Google Hangouts. Even though people were in different states or different countries, we could get together and write. During my last Willamette Writers Group workshop, the book coach was very big into accountability. She recommended having a friend or a small group that would hold you accountable to finishing the small steps to writing your story. I hope this site helps people find friends who will hold them accountable. Sometimes when you get feedback from beta readers, it's very short and very vague and you wonder what they were thinking. In real time, you can ask them what they're feeling or what they're thinking or how what you're writing is impacting them. Like Willamette writers, we could invite speakers. We could even do the same format that they use. We could hold office hours, a time when I or someone else will be available to answer questions on any topic. Other things we could do are collaborative projects. There's a group of science fiction writers who are writing a series of books together. They have planned the plot points for 12 books and each one of them is writing one of the books. The project, if you're interested, is called Pennsylvania Weird. They are doing it to drive people to their website with the hopes that they will buy the other books that the authors are writing. The magic of NaNoWriMo is that a group of people are all at the same point of writing and they progress through their manuscript more or less at the same pace. Doing that makes you feel like you're not so alone when you're writing your manuscript. Currently, I've put my long manuscript to bed for a little while so I can see it with fresh eyes when I break open the seal. But I'm still working. I'm working on developing several new projects. Therefore, my next post will be about brainstorming and plotting because that's what I'm working on. And I hope people who are in the same position will attend that and write with me as I move through my project. Or we could just do general social hour where people get together and just talk and have a good time. So how do you partake in this wonderful experiment? Well, first you have to email me at authorcalexsmith at gmail.com. Once I have your email, I can enroll you in all the parts of this project. It will need to be a working email. It also helps if you have a 
a Gmail account or Google Plus page. Let me know what your Gmail account name is or give me a link to your Google Plus page. I'm not selling anything. I don't really actually have anything to sell. This is just a pet project of mine. However, I can understand if you're a little paranoid about giving me your email address. And that's why I think sock puppets are great. A sock puppet is a fake email that you use in front of your, the usual email that your family and friends have. You can get an email like this at Gmail, Yahoo, any number of those sites. You can then forward your email from that sock puppet email to your regular email so that you don't have to look at it. If someone's harassing you, you can simply stop forwarding that e email address to your regular email. Well, that's all I have. So if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comments section of the blog post for this webcast or contact me directly through my email. I hope to see you soon at Content Cathedral. And good luck with your writing project, no matter what it might be.